Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I am here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Okay, so before we get into things today, I need my little armrest here. Um, let me tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. Nothing major. I just wanted to share because I have been promising that I was going to do this vlogtober and not miss a beat. And I think we've missed probably like four days now. But yesterday, I really just was feeling under the weather. I wasn't feeling 100. I'm still not feeling 100%, honestly, if you guys could, haven't been able to tell. Um, my back, my lower back, when I tell you it is aching me something terrible. So anyways, um, for those of you guys who just don't want to hear me talk, you can fast forward the video. Just feel free to fast forward the video. You don't, we don't need to hear you say anything about me talking and all of that. You've been warned. All right. So pretty much, um, you know, I had got up yesterday and my plan was to get up at an early enough time. I was going to try to put out two videos yesterday to accommodate the fact that I had missed some videos recently. Right. So I was going to do my usual content. And then I was also going to do a beauty video at the same time. What ended up happening is I did end up getting up, um, but there was just some confusion. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have my glasses that are different than the ones that I've been wearing. So these are my newer glasses that I have been wearing in all of my videos, but I lost them um, or thought I lost them. So I have my backup glasses, which were my previous uh, prescription and the prescription is not that different. So. These are like a smidget bit stronger, but like I said, it's not that much different from the other one. So I've been wearing the other ones just for having some glasses on my face so I can see. So anyways, I found these glasses yesterday while looking for the other glasses that I've been wearing. So I basically tore the house up yesterday, was going off on the tantrum trying to find my glasses. I ended up finding them. I put them back up where they belong and decided to do my makeup. And originally I was just going to do something really, really, really natural. Like I was just going to do my eyebrows and my eyes, maybe do some spot concealer and that's it, right? I started doing my face and then I just went full all out and did my makeup. Um, and then I just, I, I just couldn't record. I don't know why I just, I didn't feel it. I have to feel it. You know what I'm saying? This is something that comes from my heart. This is not me just getting up going, I'm going to, uh, 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 put a video out there because I'm trying to get paid because YouTube ain't paying me no money. So, you know, I have to really, really feel it in my heart. And yesterday I just really wasn't feeling it. I think it's just because I was feeling down and all of the energy that I had expelled looking for my glasses and everything else that went, went that went on with that. So I want to say like right around four or five o'clock, I was getting ready to go and run some errands. And I noticed that the middle of my shoulder blades, when I tell you, it just literally felt like they had put a 500 pound woman on my shoulders it was hard for me to do this motion here it was really really hard but I could only feel it in my shoulder blades and then the pain was just radiating going all the way down to the lower part of my back right so it got worse and worse and worse it just kept getting more and more intense I ended up going to the emergency room yesterday um, I was going to go to my doctor's office because my doctor's office is a doctor's office slash urgent care all in one um but my son's father was like, no, I think you should go to the emergency room because they can do more there. You know, I wasn't really trying to go to the emergency room for obvious reasons, just in case they were full up with patients with, you know what, I did, I wasn't trying to be nowhere near that. Because the last time I tried to go to the emergency room, um, they had patients in the waiting room in beds because they ran out of space in the back. And so I was like, I'm not trying to deal with all of that. They got people out in the parking lot, you know, in a tent. I, I don't want to be around none of that. And I definitely don't want my children to be around none of that. So thankfully he was here. He could stay with the kids. I, um, went to the emergency room. Surprisingly, there wasn't a lot of people in there. I'm still hesitant. You know, I got my own disinfectant spray. People was laughing at me in the emergency room because once I filled out my application, my application, my uh, admissions documents and all of that other kind of stuff, I brought out my little disinfectant spray. I was spraying down the seats. They were just looking at me laughing. Uh, I heard one lady say, we should do that too. Yeah, I think everybody should. You all should have a little travel size bottle of Lysol or whatever type of disinfectant that you like that's going to dry real, real quick so you can spray surfaces down, okay, just to protect you, give yourself a little bit of extra protection. So anyways, I'm sitting in there. I'm waiting. I'm nervous. You guys, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about why I'm nervous, probably in another video in one of my beauty videos when I can speak a little bit more freely, but, um, I'm nervous about what's about to happen. I don't know what's going on. The pain is killing me. The pain is still killing me sitting here in this chair. Honestly, it hurts. 
it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. So the doctor looked at me, you know, they kind of palpitated around to see if they can find anything, any masses, any tumors or anything like that um, due to some other things that I'll explain to you guys later. Um, and they didn't find anything. They were like, everything feels normal. Just it, it really honestly just sounds like muscle strain. So they were asking me, have I done anything where I could have pulled a muscle? And I was like, well, you know, I was working out, but I haven't worked out uh, really truly, I want to say in about a month or two. So I was like, nothing that comes to mind that I can recall where I was like, Oh, I pulled a muscle or anything like that. I have muscle problems on a regular anyway, but I did start a new medication, uh, which is supposed to help me with my cholesterol. The doctor told me that my cholesterol is good, but they wanted to give me some medication to help keep my, my cholesterol in that area. Okay. So I didn't take it when they first prescribed it to me because a lot of the side effects were one of the main side effects were muscle cramps and spasms and stuff like that, pain in your muscles and your joints. And then another side effect was your hair falling out. There was just some, some, some side effects that I just couldn't get with. And I was just like, yeah, no, if my cholesterol is already good, I understand that this is a preventative measure, but I'm not really feeling it because I don't need to be in pain while you're trying to cure something else that hasn't even happened yet. Right. So I decided to take it um, as of a couple of days ago. And yeah, I told the doctor and he felt like that was pretty much what was bothering me. So he took me off of that medication. All this to say that I wasn't feeling my best. And I just really want you guys to understand, even though I'm pretty sure that you do, that they are called, it's called uh, medical practice for a reason. All the learning and all the books and all the education and even a lot of times a lot of the hands-on training that they do receive when they're doing their internship still doesn't prepare them for a lot of the scenarios that they come up with, okay? They a lot of times misdiagnose people or don't diagnose people at all up until it's too late and I'm just always fearful that I'm going to be victim to one of those circumstances because I complain a lot about certain things going on with my body and they don't really take it serious, you know what I mean? So I kind of felt like like the doctor in the emergency room was more or less trying to get me out of there so that they can deal with whatever they have going on. You know, they really not too much trying to deal with anything other than um, the virus. So that was frustrating. But I said all of that to say which is going to bring us into one of the first topics of this video is there has been some medication recalls going on a lot lately. And I wanted to let you guys know about those because one of the medications actually is a medication that I've been taking now for, I want to say over 10 years. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I don't know if my medication is one of the batches that's been affected, but I'm assuming I'm going to say, yeah, because I've been taking it for so long. But anyways, let's jump right into that. So it says blood pressure medications recall for possible high carcinogen levels. If you don't know what that is, carcinogens are uh, basically chem chemicals that can cause cancer in the body. Okay. Two types of blood pressure medication made by Lupin pharmaceuticals have been recalled due to potential high levels of cancer causing substance according to an fda recall notice the company is voluntarily recalling all batches of the e i'm probably going to murder these names or er 10 tablets which is i r b e s a r t a n tablets because i want you guys to look this up for yourself in 75 milligrams um, 150 milligrams and 300 milligram strengths, strengths, as well as hydrochlorothiazide, which is the one that I have been taking, um, for years in 150 milligrams slash 12.5 milligrams and 300 milligrams slash 12.5 milligram strength. Okay. Lupin said it stopped marketing though the tablets in January. Both types of are used to treat high blood pressure, hypertension or high blood pressure, which is basically the same thing. And Alan, uh, <clears throat> an analysis during the company's testing process showed that some tested batches but not finished product batches were above the limit for um and this is another word that i'm about to uh murder um but nitro sore e best <laughs> I don't know what this word is, you guys, but I'm going to put it up on the screen uh, when I edit this video. But uh, it's an impurity that may cause cancer. Although Lupin has received no reports of illnesses that appear to relate to this issue, the company, out of an abundance of caution, is recalling all batches according to the notice. The company received four reports of illnesses from the tablets and no reports of illnesses from the... So from the first uh, tablets that I, I mentioned, the ear best certain uh, tablets and no reports of illnesses from the second one, which is the hydrochloric 
for a thiazide tablets between October 8, 2018 and September 30, 2021, which include the earliest date of shipment from the manufacturing site for any of the affected batches. OK, the four illnesses um, weren't related to the impurity, the company said. The recall notice includes lot numbers for the 30 and 90 count bottles that went to U.S. wholesalers, drug chains, mail order pharmacy, pharmacies and supermarkets and nation, nationwide between 2018 and 2020. Lupin is arranging for the return of all the recalled product lots. Okay, people who are taking these tablets should continue taking their medication and contact their pharmacist or doctor to arrange a different treatment according to the notice. People can report adverse reactions or quality problems to the FDA's MedWatch Adverse Event Reporting Program either online by fax or by mail. Instructions are included in the recall notice. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any additional information that I can give you regarding that. It doesn't seem to be any information here um, in terms of where you can report this information to. But yeah, if you are taking um, any of the, the either of those two medications, then you guys definitely want to contact your the person that prescribed it to you, um, as well as um, the pharmacy, just to make sure that your medication hasn't been dispensed from those particular batches, because I need to do the same thing. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that there was some other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it right now. Um, but yeah, I, I've been seeing a lot of stuff like that. The pain medication. Okay, this one is for a pain medication. All right, so we've got another one, another recall for medication. Okay, a dangerous packaging mistake caused by Bryant Ranch prepack to recall 500 milligram, milligram, milligram tablets of methylcarbamol. Okay, the generic form of a muscle relaxer slash pain medication, Robaxin. Bryant is recalling one lot of 30 count, 60 count and 90 count bottles. While the bottles are labeled as having 500 milligram tablets, the tablets are 750 milligram strength. OK, as the Bryant written FDA post posted recall notice states, if a patient takes a 750 milligram tablet of the methocarbamol instead of the prescribed 500 milligram tablets, it potentially could result in excessive central nervous system depression, which may result in nausea, sedation, fainting, falls, seizures, coma, and even unfortunately uh, death. Okay. All three recalled count numbers have lot number 163935 with an expiration date of 10 slash 22. So October of 2022. If you're a distributor or wholesale or set aside blah blah you guys don't need to know that um if you're a consumer stop using the recall tablets return them to the pharmacy where you got them ask for a refund and contact your doctor for uh, questions about the recall email compliance at brpharma.com or call bryant at and it gives a telephone number monday through friday 10 a.m to 9 p.m eastern standard time okay so i wish the other one would have given that if this or any drug causes a problem after notifying a medical medical professional let fda know via its MedWatch adverse event page or by filing um filling out a form you can get by calling 800-332-1088 okay so i'm gonna go out on a limb and say maybe you guys should use that number for the other one just in case you guys have experienced any adverse side effects or anything like that from that other medication call this number as well to see if you can get some additional assistance but either way i'm gonna put this information regarding these pain medications as well as the email and all of that down below in the description box so you guys can get to it but yeah this right here this is one of the main reasons why i myself and so mine, uh, uh, what do you call it? Fearful of taking any medication sometimes with doctors because a lot of the times, like I had a doctor, which there's nothing wrong with it. Let me tell you something before I say what I have to say. Google can be your best friend in the world. But sometimes I feel like in certain situations, especially when you're dealing with health, don't go to Google because you'll go to Google looking up something based off of your symptoms. And Google will make you think that you need to start planning your funeral services right now. OK, so. Be careful with that. But what the point I was trying to make is that I went to a doctor just recently because I was experiencing I had some difficulties um, with my gallbladder just after I gave birth to my son. And that I've been having some issues even still. I had surgery, but I've still been having some issues even after that. Um, and I've been explaining it to them. And uh, as usual, they don't pay attention. They don't listen. They just go, oh, well, maybe it's because, well, maybe it's because nobody knows your body more than you. We may not be doctors, but we've been living with our bodies for however long we've been on this earth. And we're, we're uh, I think, um, conscious enough 
majority of us anyway, is conscious enough to know when our body is not at 100% capacity. I know when my body is trying to tell me something is wrong, if that makes any sense. And I expect that most people do. So when you go to your doctor and they kind of ignore you, you know, it doesn't really um, help to inspire a trusting relationship between you and that physician, right? But this particular doctor, um, basically telling me about other medications that I have been taking for a long time that hadn't really been giving me any issues, um, went to get on Google to look up a medication that he could give me for what I was describing to him. Didn't tell me that he was actually diagnosing me with something. Just told me that, oh, we're, we're, we're going to try this medication. So you don't even sound confident, but you want me to be confident about taking this medication and knowing and believing that it's actually going to help me, right? Just saying, just saying. I don't know if that is... You know, I don't know what that is, but I, I, I would say to any medical professionals who are watching my videos, y'all need to do a little bit more, a little bit better when you're communicating to your patients. Watch your words. Be mindful of the things that you say. Those are things that I don't think that they teach them or teach you when you're in medical school, whether you're a registered nurse, an LVN, a CNA, you know, what I'm saying bedside manners. Those things I don't really think that they teach in medical school. And if they do, I feel like a lot of medical professionals just kind of push that uh, right out there. They just kind of sweep that out the door um, and just go on. Uh, uh, like as if they're in the military, you know what I'm saying? Doing things out of obligation, but there's no sympathy. There's no compassion for their actual patients. All right. So I just want to put that out there, but y'all need to be mindful of your medications. Um, like I said, I thought this was really, 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 really necessary for me to bring it to you. Um, take from it what you will, but let's see here. All right. <laughs> We've got another outbreak so we've got a salmonella outbreak that links to onions in 37 states including california okay this article came out actually two days ago and you can find this information on abc7 just in case you guys were wondering where you can look this up it says a salmonella outbreak has been linked to certain onions according to the centers for disease control and prevention hundreds of people in 37 states including california have gotten sick because of the contaminated whole fresh onions the u.s food and drug administration has identified pro source inc as the source of the outbreak the onions were imported from mexico and sold to restaurants and grocery stores across the country country. ProSource Inc. has agreed to recall red, yellow, white, and white onions with import dates from July 1st to August 27th. If people are experiencing symptoms of salmonella infection, they should contact their health care provider immediately. There is no additional information that has been given um, for that article. But yeah, y'all need to be aware. I've been seeing a lot of stuff like this. If I'm being 100% honest, because I set my phone and all of my devices to basically notify me whenever any uh, news event happens, and I'm not discriminating on which news events I think are important. I don't bring everything to you guys, obviously. Obviously, but I do see a lot of this. You guys really need to be, you know, just be mindful because I can't bring you everything. You know what I mean? Everything that comes across my screen. So I try to bring you guys the stuff that I feel are most important and definitely things going on with our water because we all use our water. Things is going on with our food and definitely things is going on with our medication are among the top three, among other things that I feel are really, really important for me to bring to you guys. So I just want to let you guys know. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Damn, I got another one here. A muscle relaxant has been recalled. You know what? I'll get to that in another video. Most likely I'm going to do a second video, two videos tomorrow um, just to make up for yesterday. So stay tuned for that video because we've got a lot more that we need to discuss. All right. Now, let's talk about emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of October, y'all. Let me see if anything has changed or if we got anything new. To discuss bam we got some november we got some november all right so um i think i'm gonna skip out on october because we've gone through that so much this video is obviously gonna be a little bit longer so i'm not gonna let y'all go into the weekend and not let y'all know about these states that have been approved already for november i'm gonna read them off to you right now and then we're gonna flip the screen and we're gonna go through and we're gonna um i'm gonna give y'all them payout dates okay so for emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of November, we've got Kentucky, Maine, Mississippi, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, uh, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. A couple of these I already know. Most likely for New Jersey is going to be between the 5th and the 23rd of November. Um, odd days staggered only, or is that Indiana? I think that's Indiana. With uh, Wyoming, I'm pretty sure it's going to be between the second and the fifth of the month based off of the first initial of your last name. But I'm going to flip this camera around and we're going to go through that right now. 
bam y'all november we got november <laughs> okay so we are on the website as you can see hopefully y'all can see me up there in the corner oh wait clear so i was trying to refresh my screen and i have refreshed it so here we are you guys here we are bam right here for no November, okay all of them states that i just read out so you guys know i'm gonna do a review obviously i'm gonna go over any additional information on monday but i just don't want to have y'all going into the weekend without knowing what's going on most times they don't actually update anymore on the weekend so i don't think that anything will change between today and tomorrow i'm gonna make the page a little bit bigger for those of you guys who are saying it's so small we can't see it okay so let's jump right in starting with kentucky I'm actually pretty happy about this because that just means that more states are going to be approved. Okay, so November the 2nd through the 19th. I'm going to try to do this fast because, like I said, this video I know is going to be a lot longer than usual because I was talking in the beginning. But it says will be available between November the 2nd and the 19th, beginning November the 2nd, right here. Just to make sure you guys can see this. This is for Kentucky. So for Kentucky, for November uh, benefits, it will be between the 2nd and the 19th. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise going on in the background. I do apologize. I don't know what they're doing outside because they usually um, are the gardener comes to trim the green stuff on the property, usually on Tuesday. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. What, what state is this? I think this is Maine. I think this is Maine. Let's scroll up. It should tell us a little bit further down. Yeah, this is Maine. So for Maine is going to be November the 10th. Mississippi, November the 2nd for Mississippi, right here, just in case you guys can't see, November the 2nd, New Hampshire, All right, New Hampshire, we got right here. November the 3rd, November the 3rd and the 23rd, and then December the 3rd and the 17th, okay, for New Hampshire. New Jersey. Uh-oh. Is there not any information for New Jersey right now? Okay, right here. Between the 1st and the 5th, right here. Supplemental issuance will be provided on the normal issuance dates, okay? And it says between the 1st and the 5th. So if you guys get your benefits on that date, on those dates, that's when you're going to get your emergency snap. That was for New Jersey, North Carolina. All right, for North Carolina, we've got all of these dates right here. For 10 days, basically starting November the 22nd, all the way up until the 30th, and then they're going to do a final run on December the 1st, okay? So that's for North Carolina. Pennsylvania. What just happened? Oh. Pennsylvania. Okay, we've got Pennsylvania dates right here. November the 13th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and then the 30th, and then the cleanup on January the 7th. It says that right here, okay? I know I'm going through this really, really fast. I'm trying not to have this video be 30 minutes long, but it might end up being that way. We're going to Rhode Island next. Um, I will be going over these again, as always, on Monday, as well as the states that have yet to pay out for October, okay? Um, so for Rhode Island, we have on the 3rd of November, benefits will be issued November 3rd, separate from Rhode Island's regular issuance schedule, okay? So November 3rd for Rhode Island. 
Virginia. Virginia right here, it says November the 16th, okay? And here's the state name. So Virginia, November the 16th. Two more states, y'all. Wisconsin. All right, so for Wisconsin right here at the top, we have November the 20th. Oh, that's my birthday. November the 20th and then a catch-up run January the 8th of 2022, okay? So November the 20th for Wisconsin. Wyoming. Open with drive. Okay, the last one, Wyoming. Wyoming is going to make us work for the information, huh? All right, yeah, so I have this one right. So here is the state name right here. This really long paragraph <laughs> explains when they're gonna do it, but it looks like it's gonna be the same. It's gonna, it says no emergency allotment files will be sent to our EBT processor until or on or after November the 1st. So usually November the 2nd. So as you can see right here, it starts November the 2nd and it's going based off of I think the first initial of your last name. So basically between the second and the fifth, those benefits will be deposited. Okay, I was trying to read afterwards. And then it says new clients are issued EA emergency allotments a day after the initial. Um, okay, so it's gonna be November the second through the fifth, through the fifth based off of the first initial of your last name. And then for new clients, then you will be receiving these benefits the day after your case has been approved. And then it gives an example here, but basically saying, if your case is approved on November the 16th, then your emergency allotment would be issued on November the 17th, okay? But then it says it won't be available until the next day after that, so the 18th, okay? I know that was a lot and probably confusing, but that's what it says right there. And then one more time, for those of you who may have skipped through all of that, one more time. These are the names of the states as of today, Friday, happy Friday, you guys. Happy Friday, happy Vlogtober day 22. These are the names of the states as of right now that has been approved for emergency snap maximum allotments for the month of November. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 states as of right now. And then for October, just for those of you guys who haven't been paying attention, this is for October, okay? So I'm gonna leave that on the screen just for a quick second so you guys can see. These are the names of all the states that have been approved for October. I did go over these, not yesterday, obviously, because I didn't do a video, but the day before that, I did go over that information. So if you want the payout dates for that, you're gonna have to check out the video that I put out on Tuesday. All right, you guys, so as always, I hope this Okay, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys. Do me a favor, don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But it definitely lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Again, I do apologize, this video may be a lot longer than normal, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. And this is another reason why I have been doing, um, starting to do different content, like my beauty content or whatever, which that is only going to, going to get more, um, going to get more. I just lost my train of thought. I'm going to be putting out more beauty content because I really think that we need to just have some girl time. You know what I'm saying? No shade to any man. You guys are more than welcome to be there and participate. But, um, yeah, I just want to have a little bit more me time, if that makes any sense with y'all. So. I am going to be announcing a new upload schedule probably a little bit later on in this month, which is next week sometime. So um, stay tuned for that. But yeah, you guys, as always, I am going to say, remember to live, love, and elevate. Don't forget to check the description box for my discount codes as well as my merch shop. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, beautiful people.